This happens when you reject a narcissist. This happens when you dismiss the narcissist as inadequate or unacceptable. This happens when you fail to show due affection or concern for them. You get to a point in the relationship where you've had enough. You don't want to deal with them anymore. You realize that you have to move on. You realize that it is in your best interest. But the narcissist is not going to see it in the same way. They see it as though you're being very inconsiderate. They cannot deal with rejection. They want to be seen as something special and important. Someone who is superior to everyone else. Someone who is deserving of privileges and special treatment. Someone who should be admired. Someone who is always right. They have a very strong sense of entitlement to your supply. They feel that you exist to serve them. To cater to their needs. To prop up their false self. And when you are around them for a long period of time. It can cause you great mental distress and discomfort. It can create a person who is constantly miserable and discontented. You feel like it's impossible for them to understand you. You feel defeated. You're tired of the arguments. You're tired of the constant differences of opinions. They're always criticizing you. They're always trying to humiliate you. They're always trying to make you feel fear or shame. They're always rejecting you. They're always dismissing or refusing your proposal or idea. So you get to a point where you realize that you need to move on. When you try to reject the narcissist, they will try to take you off your intended course of action. They will try to interrupt and confuse you. They will try to mislead you. So that you go off course and no longer follow your intended route. So that you are unable to understand or cope with the situation. If you take a step back, they will sense this and they may even reject you first. When you tell the narcissist that you are not happy with the situation and you want to move on, they're not going to self-analyze or self-examine. They're not going to examine or consider their own ideas, thoughts and feelings. You would like to sit down and talk with them try to get them to understand, but in their minds there's nothing to understand. They know everything they need to know, and you just need to follow their script, you just need to listen to them. If you reject them, they will be shocked to think that you have the audacity to do something like that. They exaggerate their own worth and importance. They will show an offensive attitude of superiority. They will behave as if they are better or more important than other people. And they will see it as though something is wrong with you for not realizing that.
they will be very afraid. They will be worried that something undesirable will occur or be done. But they're not going to tell you that they're afraid. Their fear comes out as anger. As a strong feel of annoyance, displeasure and hostility. They get angry because they're trying to control the situation. They're trying to intimidate you into submission. They're trying to get you to see them as a superior force or authority. Because when you reject them, they feel very insecure. They feel uncertain and anxious about themselves. Because their self-confidence is heavily dependent on what you think of them. When you reject them, it demolishes their inflated view of themselves. It causes a narcissistic injury, which will then be followed by narcissistic rage. When you reject them, they feel like you are trying to attack them. They feel vulnerable, as though they are at risk of danger or harm. And that is why they're afraid. That is why they get angry. Because they're trying to protect that inflated view of themselves. They fear that you will no longer attend to them or admire them. They fear that you will no longer be their supply. So they will get very angry. And they will threaten to punish you. They will take self-protective measures. They will attempt to explain and justify the behavior or attitude with reasons that are not appropriate. They will try to defend themselves. They will try to tell you why they're better than everyone and why they're more intelligent than you are and how their way is the right way to live. They will try to demonstrate that they have more experience, knowledge and good judgment than you do. They will attempt to explain and justify why it's okay for them to behave in such a narcissistic manner. And when you see this, rather than listening to everything that they have to say, it will just make you realize why you need to move on. Because they can't give up their control. They can't let go of their interest in their distorted views and beliefs. When you reject the narcissist, they will subject you to dismissive language or behavior. They will mock you. They will provoke and challenge you with insulting remarks. They will be sarcastic. They will make accusations about you. If you deny the accusations or try to point out something in them, they will come at you with even more accusations. They will criticize you. They will bring up stuff from the past. Because they cannot deal with rejection. They will ignore you. Rather than using this opportunity to self-analyze or self-examine. They will refuse to listen to what you are saying. They will say that you were never serious about being with them. They will instantly go from being someone who is meant to be supportive and encouraging to someone who feels nothing but hatred for you. And that is how you know that they were never serious about you. They were never really there to help or defend you. They were never looking out for your best interest. 
and that is how they can change so quickly. They can take away their loyalty and commitment in an instant. In some situations, they may even stalk you. They will be tracking your movements to see where you're going or who you're with. They may harass you. They may continue to annoy and upset you. They may publicly humiliate you. They may assassinate your character and start a smear campaign against you. These are the consequences of rejecting the narcissist. Many people may advise you to go no contact, but you need to understand that it's not going to be so simple when you are dealing with a narcissist. Narcissists don't know how to go forward in a healthy manner. They will not take responsibility for their actions. They will not learn from their mistakes. And they have no care or concern for how you feel. They cannot lower their inflated view of their own importance. They cannot be respectful or submissive. Their arrogance and entitlement does not allow them to anticipate rejection until you pull away. They don't take the time to self-analyze or self-examine. They cannot be fair. They cannot make a judgment that is not based on their personal feelings or opinions. They cannot be vulnerable. They cannot deal with emotional pain. They cannot deal with their shame. Which is why they are always trying to project it onto you. They always have to think in a way that is characterized by conflict or opposition. They can't accept that a situation could be understood in more than one way. They cannot deal with you in a sensible and tactful way. They lack the skill and sensitivity that is required to deal with difficult issues. So when you reject the narcissist and you decide to move on, you need to prepare yourself for something difficult and unpleasant. Because everything that I've mentioned in this video is likely to occur. When you move on from the narcissist, you need to avoid falling into their traps. You need to avoid being tricked and deceived. You need to avoid being involved in difficulties or complicated circumstances from which it is difficult to escape. Don't focus on trying to get the narcissist to understand you. Remind yourself where you need to move on. You know that you deserve better. You know there's more to life than being someone's source of supply. You know there's more to life than being someone's emotional punching bag. The narcissist will keep coming back as long as they think they can control you. They pre-selected you to be someone who fulfills their orders and requests. But you need to decide that you don't want to be someone who is used and exploited by a narcissist. You need to decide that you're not going to be someone who willingly changes everything about themselves for another person's personal gain or pleasure. You have the necessary ability, knowledge and skill to do this on your own. You can take control of your own important duties and independent decision making. You can exist in a more organic way of life. Rather than having to experience these mental, emotional and physical reactions that are drastic and irrational. To manage another person's automatic and unconscious effort to manage deep anxiety rather than having to engage in these obsessional thoughts and compulsive acts 
and always being frightened or worried about things that you consider to be unimportant. Because the narcissist is always going to be narcissistic, they're never going to change. They have to keep you in a condition of fear and threat to keep you under their control. The narcissist may not conform to the accepted standards of respectable and moral behavior, but that is not a puzzle that you need to solve. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narc survivor Dakota UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.